Greetings, everyone. This is Governor Herrera. And again, I hope you and your families are doing well. First of all, I want to commend our people for adhering to the COVID-19 safe practices. Continue with this effort and don't let your guard down. As far as educational update, the Pueblo is aware that the Grant Cibola County School District has submitted their re-entry plan to the State of New Mexico Public Education Department last week on Wednesday. As of today, uh, no new updates. The Laguna Department of Education will be presenting their draft school re-entry plan to the staff officers on Friday, July 24th. LDOE has also made the draft re-entry plan available for download on their website and they will be hosting a series of community forums for public input. The information will be forthcoming. Please make sure to participate. Your input is very important. As an update from LDC at the Route 66 campus, a positive case was identified at Stadium 66. All close contacts were identified and tested. It was determined that no further spread occurred and the COVID-19 safety precautions practiced by employees proved to be effective. As of today, Stadium 66 has reopened. The Pueblo is happy to announce that the Pueblo of Laguna's permanent COVID-19 test site has opened this week on Monday, July 20th, and is located at the Laguna Fitness Center parking lot. To utilize this service, you'll need to register online at the Pueblo of Laguna website or call 505-221-4028 or 505-290-4058. The test site is available to Laguna tribal members, Laguna residents, POL employees, and POL entities. The Pueblo continues to monitor the cases in New Mexico and we are still seeing a rise in positive cases around the state. We still need to remain aware of what is going on around us so that we don't see a rise of cases here at the Pueblo. Please continue to remain vigilant and keep your family informed as well. Currently, the Pueblo has administered 1,856 tests with 24 tests pending, 1,751 negative results, 27 positive, 14 recovered patients, 12 active cases, and two deceased tribal members. As a reminder, this information is available on the POL website. Next, the return back to work plan for the Pueblo of Laguna has gone before council last Friday with good feedback and minor modification. I will be working with the return back to work team to finalize this document. Now, as you may know, the 30 day extension of the POL remote work from home and or administrative leave in the room operational level will be expiring this Friday. I will be extending it up to another 30 days. This document is a fluid document based on continued monitoring, analysis, and data of the impact of COVID-19. I will be meeting with the return back to work team to make sure we finalize all product protocols to make sure our employees can return back to work safely. This will be a slow transition of employees returning and some departments will have varied levels of staffing. My other concern is for family members who are in need of care. I'm in favor of allowing parents to work with their supervisors on a schedule that allows them to care for members of their households. In addition, during this time, tribal essential operations remain in place and all tribal departments do have COVID-19 safety protocols while working with community. 
please make sure you call before you arrive to any tribal office and adhere to the COVID-19 safety protocols they have in place. This is for the employee safety and your own. Upcoming nominations are taking place at each respective village up until July 31st. This is in regard to the 2020 uh, Pueblo Laguna general election. Villages who have already completed their first round of nominations include Siyama, Parahi, and Pawadi. Laguna Village, Ensenal, and Masita will be completing theirs in the upcoming days. Many of you are asking if this weekly video update is necessary. On the other viewpoint, that these are necessary and helpful due to each day, each week, things are changing so fast. Update at the federal, state, and local levels need to be addressed and communicated. So I will continue with these weekly video updates and again ask for your understanding and patience. This new norm and way to approach life is real and is impacting all of us. The challenges and decisions we make impact work, school, community, culture, government, religion, and family. I am in frequent communication with many of the Pueblo governors and leadership. They express that they are experiencing the same challenges and having to make these hard decisions for their people and Pueblos, all for their protection safety and well-being of their people, families, and communities. Many of the Pueblos, including Laguna Pueblo, have had to cancel and postpone our feast days, grab days, cultural and sacred doings. The uncertainty of exposure is so great with the COVID-19 virus, and it continues to turn up in our communities and spread. As Pueblo leaders, we are trying to protect our people and we encourage and ask all of you to protect yourself and others. In the past few days, President Trump has stated to wear face masks and he acknowledged that the COVID-19 virus is going to get worse before it gets better. In closing, I just want to remind everyone to be kind and respectful to one another. Many families are having to make tough decisions in different aspects of their lives that include educational decisions, return back to work decisions, and so on, so that their family can get through this time of COVID-19 safely. As part of this video presentation, um, we've emphasized in recent communications the, to be mindful and ask our community members to complete the census. So with that, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Lorraine uh, Silva, who is the uh, Tribal Enrollment uh, Manager for the Pueblo of Laguna. Hi, my name is Lorraine Silva, and I'm the Tribal Enrollment Manager for the Pueblo of Laguna Tribal Enrollment Office. I'm also the tribal liaison for the U.S. Census Bureau. Every 10 years, the U.S. Census Bureau counts everyone living in the United States on April 1st. As most of you know, this year, 2020, is a census year. In the past, American Indians and Alaska Natives have been continuously undercounted. Census data is important to tribal communities in many ways, such as it ensures that we are receiving adequate funding and that the U.S. government is living up to its trust responsibilities to tribes. Census data is used to apportion voting boundaries for congressional, state, and local legislative districts and affects the allocation of congressional seats. Nearly $1 billion in federal resources is allocated to Indian country based on census data. Programs affected by census data include Medicaid, federal student loans, Head Start programs, WIC programs, supplemental nutrition assistance programs, otherwise known as SNAP, housing assistance, low income and home energy assistance, and school lunch programs, to name a few. 
Census data also aids in forecasting future housing needs, planning for hospitals, nursing homes, clinics, and other infrastructure. By now, you should have received a census packet containing your census questionnaire. The U.S. Census Bureau has completed the update and leave operation for the Pueblo of Laguna, in which census workers delivered census packets to each individual household. You are given the opportunity to self-respond by completing the form online, by phone, or by mail. If you choose not to self-respond, census workers will visit your home at a later time to assist you in completing the form. The form in the packet that you receive contains a 12-digit ID number. It is important that you use the ID number when completing your form. Using the 12-digit number ensures that your household is counted and will help to obtain a more accurate count of our community. If you responded without using your 12-digit ID number, you will likely have to resubmit your form using the number. Due to the COVID-19 situation, census operations have been extended. The deadline to self-respond and submit your census form has been extended to October 31st, 2020. The 2020 Census Questionnaire is a simple form that asks only nine questions. The first question pertains to the number of individuals living in the household on April 1st. Be sure to only include the individuals who are living in your home on April 1st. This would include extended family members or friends who may have been staying with you at that time. If you have children who are away at college, do not include them on your form. They will be counted in the group housing operation. This does not pertain to minor children who are away at boarding schools during that time. Also, if you have elder parents who are living in an elder care center, such as the Laguna Rainbow Center, do not include them on the form. They will be counted in the group housing operation. This will take place at a later date, which has not been specified yet. The questionnaire also contains questions regarding the name, gender, age, date of birth, and the race of each individual. The questionnaire does not ask you to provide any information regarding income or education. You can complete information for up to 10 persons living in the household. If you have more than 10 individuals residing in your household, you can write in their information on the back of the forms. If you respond online, you can include information for up to 99 individuals. It's very important that the individual who is completing the form, person one, be the person who is affiliated with the tribe. In regards to the race question, which is question number nine, make sure that person one checks the box, American Indian or Alaska Native. You are given a space to write in the name of your tribe. You must use the official name of the tribe. Therefore, for Laguna, you will write in Pueblo of Laguna. Checking the box, American Indian or Alaska Native and writing in the name of your tribe is a matter of self-identification you will not be asked to show an enrollment card or a CIB. By answering question nine and checking American Indian or Alaska Native ensures that your household will be counted as a Native household. This also enables the Census Bureau to tabulate statistics on how many people are associated with a tribe and can help to provide an idea of the number of persons associated with a tribe living on the tribe's lands or reservation or in a particular city or in an, another off reservation area. So those living off the reservation, you are advised to indicate the tribe that you are affiliated with. As part of the Pueblo's commitment to working with the US Census in getting a complete and accurate count, the Pueblo of Laguna established a complete count committee, also known as the CCC, to provide outreach about the importance of the census. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the closure and orders established for the Pueblo, the CCC was unable to conduct several of the outreach events that were planned. We were able to submit articles to the town crier to keep the community updated. We do have several items that we'd like to distribute to the community as incentives to participate and respond to the 2020 census. This will hopefully be done within the next couple of weeks, so look out for our announcements. All in all, it's important that we all participate and respond to the census. It helps to ensure that we are accurately and fully counted. The U.S. Census is an opportunity to provide a better future for our community and our future generations. 
making sure you participate and are counted safeguards your ability to benefit from federal resources and that we as Boekema are properly represented. It's estimated that we lose $3,700 for each individual that's not counted. That's $3,700 times 10 years, which amounts to 37,000 in federal money that is lost. If there are 10 or more individuals not counted, that would add up to over $370,000 plus in 10 years. As of today, the Pueblo of Laguna's response rate has risen to 23.4%. I know that we can bring those numbers higher. So we encourage you to participate and complete your census forms. Remember, it's our community, our count. If you have questions when you receive your packet, you can call 1-844-330-2020 or visit the website 2020census.gov. You can also contact Amber Carrillo, the New Mexico Tribal Partnership Specialist at 817-897-1601 or me, Lorraine Silva, at the Tribal Enrollment Office at 505-552-5772. Thank you. As always, please do not gather in groups. Socialize at a distance. Wash your hands. Wear a face mask if you must go out in public and stay at home to the greatest extent possible. Keep it in mind that every time you leave your home, it's a risk. I wish you all well and be safe. Thank you for this opportunity. Everyone take care. Thank you.